Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're exploring a critical question making waves in military and geopolitical circles. Can Iran really shoot down the F-35? This isn't just a matter of speculation. It's a reflection of the evolving balance between stealth technology and missile defense systems in modern warfare. The F-35 Lightning Roman II, developed by Lockheed Martin, is one of the most advanced stealth multirole fighter jets in existence. Its very structure is built for evading radar detection with sleek contours, internal weapon bays and radar, absorbing materials. The exterior design minimizes radar cross-section, making it extremely difficult for traditional radar systems to track or target the aircraft effectively. Iran, meanwhile, has developed and deployed a variety of air defense systems, ranging from Russian, imported S-300s to domestically engineered systems like the Bavar 373 and Cord Ad-15. These platforms are designed to detect and intercept stealth aircraft, but whether they can reliably do so against an actual fifth-generation fighter like the F-35 is highly uncertain. Iran claims these systems can detect lower, servable targets at long ranges, but real, world performance in a contested environment is something that has yet to be proven. Most of Iran's capabilities are built on reverse, engineered or modified older Soviet technology, while the F-35 represents the latest in Western aerospace innovation, Inside the F-35, the cockpit is designed for complete situational awareness and pilot ease. It features a single large touchscreen and voice command capabilities, with most critical flight and combat data projected directly into the pilot's helmet visor. This helps pilots stay focused on their mission without needing to glance at traditional instruments. The interior setup is clean, digital, and built to reduce mental load during complex operations. In terms of performance, the F-35 can reach speeds of Mach 1, 6, and has a combat radius of over 1, 0, 0, 0 kilometers. It's capable of vertical or short takeoffs, depending on the variant, and has unmatched versatility for air, to air, air to ground, and surveillance missions. Its advanced sensors and radar allow it to detect threats long before it's detected itself. By comparison, Iran's aging fleet of my G-29, F-4 Phantoms, and locally modified jets are far behind in both speed and sensor range. Even with ground-based radar support, targeting an F-35 before it completes its mission would be extremely difficult. Safety is another area where the F-35 shines. Its distributed aperture system provides full 3, 160 degree threat awareness, detecting incoming missiles and alerting the pilot instantly. Coupled with electronic warfare systems capable of jamming or spoofing enemy radars, the F-35 has multiple layers of survivability. Even if an Iranian missile locks on, hitting a maneuverable stealth aircraft that is actively countering your radar and guidance systems is another challenge entirely. The aircraft's flight software can even cue evasive actions automatically if the threat level rises. What sets the F-35 apart is its network-centric capability. It's not just a jet. It's a node in a larger combat network. It collects data from multiple sources, processes it with onboard AI, and shares it with allied units in real time. This level of battlefield integration is beyond what Iran's current systems can manage. The Iranian air defense network operates mostly in isolation, meaning even if one battery detects something, reacting in time and coordinating with other systems is a slow and difficult process. The cost of the F-35 is high, ranging from backslash dollar 80 to backslash dollar 100 million per unit, depending on the version and support packages. Iran's air defense and air force budgets are far smaller and lack the resources for cutting, edge software, AI integration, 
or global interoperability, Iran may claim that its systems are ready to counter stealth threats, but in practice, the technological and operational gap remains wide. So, can Iran shoot down an F-35? In theory, yes. No aircraft is invincible. But in practice, the odds are heavily against it. The F-35 stealth, speed, sensor fusion, and countermeasures give it a clear edge. Iran would need to get very lucky or catch an F-35 under unusual conditions. Until we see a real confrontation, the F-35 remains one of the most survivable and lethal jets in the sky, especially against older, untested air defense networks.